you at the Blooming Rose the other night. What? No, you didn't. I suppose someone else stole your chin to romance Faith? That's unlikely. She wasn't even working. Mm-hmm. Got you. Carver, what would Mother say? You're just... That's not what I... Oh, shit. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Neither did I. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? No promises. But I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. Haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden. Volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. Thank you. I thought them coterie men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. Is that a Fenril's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm 15. But I can usually pass for a man. My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horn darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? In Lothering, there were always families willing to take in a strong lad and a few girls to help with the cooking. My father was a farmer. Before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Fenril. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us.
Well, are you here to socialize or did you bring my goods? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie, but your property was long gone. Coterie. I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Another one on the desk. Well, well, if it isn't the man of the hour. Do I know you? Not yet, but I wager you'll be glad we met. The name's Dougal Gavorn, and you're Bartrand's new business partner. Hmm. Yes, Bartrand was falling all over himself to enlist my help. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Bartrand turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then, when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? This seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm taking quite a gamble myself. I'm willing to bet you're a good risk. Bartran obviously thinks so. You care to extend the same courtesy to me? It seems I have no choice. Risky, but who else is there? We need this. Marvelous! You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. I'll have it delivered to him discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. Sorry about your sister. She sounds like a special girl. Why? Because she was a mage. Your brother said she had a good heart. Being on the run never made her bitter. 
Yes. Yes, I'm sure. I was trying to be nice. There. Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. There's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. We shouldn't be taking any needless risks. This isn't a foolish endeavor. This will work. Now, before you... Wait. Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? I can't leave Carver behind. I need him. I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. Leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides... If we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and he should hide. Well, you're not going to be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Carver, I beg you. Don't go. Don't do this. Don't worry about me, so... I can take care of myself. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await!
No, this can't be right. The champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friends did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. He must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, he wouldn't have let his brother step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but... We didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. What am I paying you blighters for? Set camp! <laughs> Problems, brother? Sodding deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Varric? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. We need to do something. Sitting out here in the open is just as dangerous. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine. Fine. Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah. <sighs> I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago. I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We need to search the side passages. We'll bring him back if we can. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then. <laughs> 